everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for a super special, super exciting video. So, Magic Arena just implemented the real money economy, so we are going to open some packs, because opening packs is fun, and also kind of do a little science experiment. So, as you can see, I just logged in, first time since the Dominary update. I've spent every one of my wild cards. My vault is at 50%. I can't really do anything about that. I bought the $100 bundle of gems. Also, as far as packs, I have three Dominaria packs that they gifted me, so we can't really avoid that. I guess we can just not open those three for the time being. But my, uh, my actual collection, I have absolutely zero cards from Dominaria. We're gonna kind of do a little experiment and see if we crack open these hundred packs, how much should we get? Like, how close are we to building a competitive deck? How many wild cards do we get? How many times do we get to open the vault and get even more wild cards? So a little science experiment as far as pack openings, which means we gotta jump into it, starting off with buying our pack. So like I said, you can split this up and buy other sets of packs, but Dominaria works especially well for the experiment because we don't have any Dominaria packs. So any Dominaria in our collection is going to be based on this uh, booster pack opening. So I bought the biggest bundle of gems to get the biggest discount. Now we will buy the biggest bundle of boosters. So we get two Fire Song and Sun Speakers, three Mythic Wild Cards, at least in the packs, six Rare Wild Cards in the pack, 18 Uncommon Wild Cards. Those are like the rates that we'll get them in our pack. So anyway, whatever. Let's buy this. Yes, please. 90 packs. And now... We get to do the fun part, which is crack open 90 booster packs, and we're going to go one at a time. We're not going to open 10, even though that's a cool option, so let's do it. 90 Dominary booster packs. Come on, Mythics. Come on, Mythic wild cards or good wild cards. That's what we really want here. Uh, so rare is uh, Vern Force, not especially playable. Basically gonna skim over the commons and uncommons. Like, with this many packs, we should get most of them. We're hoping for wild cards. All right. Uh, so far, nothing too exciting. Many a Dominaria. The cards do look pretty nice. The art looks good. Come on, give us the Mythics. Ooh. Oh, Mythic Wild Card. All right, that's good. So we can trade that for any Mythic we want. Does it not have to be from Dominaria? So, crack it open. Daring Archaeologist, not playable. I mean, we're gonna have all the commons and most of the uncommons, hopefully, from doing this. Wild card. So we're mostly hoping to get Joshua Vest, semi-playable. We're mostly hoping to get, like, the good rares and mythics. Those are kind of what we're really hoping for. Void is playable. Warchief, maybe. Zalid, good for, like, a Tezzeret artifact deck. Have not hit any natural mythics yet. Shalai, voice of plenty, common wild card. Shalai's good. Still no mythics. Ugh, two at a giant. Okay. <laughs> Maybe coin flip will be a supportive mechanic. Rare wild card. Song of Frailies. So we're getting good. We're getting good uh, lower rarity stuff. Mythic. Uh, Togar. Togar is a sweet rare. So far, I think we're running rare wild card. I think we're running below average as far as just opening mythics. Ooh, mythic. Joyra! There's our first mythic. Alright, that's good. Uh, I think we'd rather be opening Teferi's. I think Teferi is a mythic I want most. Another Togar. Well, we're going to be able to build a Togar deck if we want to. Oh, we want to keep an eye on... So we're 96%, so we're going to be able to open the vault soon. Ooh, Squee. Ooh, vault achieved? Alright, so after this pack, we got to open our vault. Ariel, that's a good one. Well, let's crack this vault. Vault rewards. So we get another mythic, two rares, three uncommon wild cards. Let's claim that. We So we can start filling it up again, back to zero. Start filling it up. So hopefully we get to open it another time or two. Ooh, Mildrotha. Hopefully Brawl comes to Arena, because Mildrotha seems insane in Brawl. As far as standard, it's fun. Good against the odds guard. Man, we're getting all the daring archaeologists. That's well, we'll have a playset of those in case that ever becomes a thing. First eruption. I do not understand the rarity on these cards. Like, I think Flame of Keld feels more rare to me than first eruption, but eh. Eh, whatever. It's a saga. Alright, rare land. Those are not exciting, but they're actually some of the most important cards for your deck, I think, to open. 
Karazov. Come on, give us some mythics. Our mythics have been ooh, uh, rare. I thought it was mythic for a minute. Well, we're we're getting a few. Ooh, that looked like a myth. That looked like a mythic. Dragas reincarnated. Dragas. All right. Well, we we are hitting mythics. We're not exactly hitting the mythics we're hoping for. Ver oh, Varix. Varix. That, that's a, that should be a rare. Siege Gang Commander. Well, we still have a long way to go to open some Teferi. <clears throat> First Eruption. <laughs> uh, come on, give us some doubles of good cards. Ooh, Mythic Wild Card number two. That's good. Up to three in all because of the Vault. Vault is back up to 36%. Remember, we did start at 50% with the Vault too, so keep that in mind. Joda, another sweet Commander card. Playing stuff for free. Another squee. We've gotten a decent amount of double rares, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Antiquities War. I'm definitely excited to build around this card. That's a fun card to build around. Another Shauna. Cabal Stronghold. Rather just have a dual land. Another Flame of Keld. And we get Rare Wild Card. So we're up to six rares, three mythics, wild card wise. And I mean, I guess that's a nice thing. Since we're getting these wild cards, in theory, even though we're not necessarily so far opening the mythics that we want, instead we're getting Kamal's Druidic Vow, we can use our uh, wild cards to get to fairies and Karns and whatnot. But hopefully we open some naturally. Teshar. All right, sure. And uh, Marwin. Need more elves in standard. Little lacking in the elf front. And ooh, Gilded Lotus. That is a sweet card. Boom. Dread Jade. Good for our mono black type deck. I think we're getting a little more Let's uh let's open a few more. I think we're getting a little more vault progress now because we probably have playsets of some commons. Another Marwin. Come on, give us our good mythics. Give us our good myth. Ugh, another Moldrotha. <laughs> okay, that could be Karn, but Moldrotha is a really cool card. It is. It is one of my favorite cards in the set. It does not help me build a Teferi deck though. Another Teshar. We need some Mox Ambers to go with Teshar. Wombo combo. I was reborn as Sweet Art. All the sagas have Sweet Art. Uh, so we're up to three Togars. I think that's the like, rare we've opened the most of so far. Almost to the vault again. Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. So we started with 90 packs from this purchase. Rare wild card. Are we there? 90%. We started with 90 packs, so we're almost halfway through. Goblin Chain Whirl. So we're gaining like 3%-ish? Chain Whirl's like constructed playable. Not even really paying attention. Ugh, Karazov. Man, we're going to have lots of Karazovs. All right, we get full vault, so we get to open vault again. Oh, I see. So I just realized this. So these cards that are ghosted out, that means we already have four of them. We already have play sets of Shiv and Fire, so the extras aren't going into our collection. They're adding slightly to our vault progress. Pretty soon we're going to have all of our first eruptions. Well, let's crack open the vault so add to our wild card pile up to 12 common 19 uncommon amazingly we're getting more uncommons and commons maybe that's how it's supposed to be i mean i guess it's a good thing because we're gonna have all the commons we could ever want all right back to the packs back to the packs we're all we're about halfway through uh haphazard bombardment uh come on give us give us a card and a teferi another shalai Boom, Joda, another Joda. Well, we're, I mean, we are opening multiples of things, which is nice. And our vault's filling a little faster. Thran's Temporal Gateway. Oh, Lyra. All right, we finally, we had opened some mythics, but they had all been the bad mythics. This is the, I mean, fun mythics. Like, Madroth is super fun, but Lyra is the first mythic where I'm like, all right, that goes in my standard deck. We'll talk about the deck I want to build in a minute. It's the blue-white Wrath Flash deck is the deck I want to build most. So hopefully this $90 or $100 will, uh, will get us the Wrath Flash deck, or at least very close to it. Traxos combo card. Not really good combos in standard, but 
modern combo card. Another Oragos. We got all of our cold waters. Oh, well, we're going to start dusting our Togars. We have every single Togar. So now we will get extra dust when we open more of them. Oh, I hear Mythic. Oh. Uh, Jaya Ballard. <laughs> Come on, could be a Teferi or Karn, but it's Jaya. Ugh, boom. All right, Mythic Wild Card. That's good. Up to five Mythic Wild Cards. Ooh, Mythic, two in a row. All right, keep opening. We're on a hot streak. Number three. Give us number three. Oh, rare. Well, a wild card's still good. Give us number four. Give us that wild card. Uh, Joshua Vess. All right. <laughs> Crack it. Teshar. Crack it. Joda. Well, we're getting more and more dustable things now. Ugh. Cra Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Crack it. Teshar. Crack it. Hinterland Harbor. Alright. I mean, that's another another rare land. Clifftop Retreat. There's a Raph. We do want Raphs. Raphs are cards that we need for the deck we want to build. Ooh. More Hinterland Harbors. Merfolk deck. Getting better and better. Vaults up to 71. Cabal Stronghold. Mythic. Come on, Mythic. Ooh, Mythic Wild Card. All right. Seven Mythic Wild Cards. Vault 275. And... Jo <laughs> well, we got all the Jodas. All the Jodas in the world. Rare Wild Card. That's fine. So we're getting down to our last 20 packs. Another Squee. Okay. We got all the Squees and all the Jodas we will ever need. And... We got two haphazard bombardments, I think, which is actually all of those we'll ever need. Two more than we will ever need. Sulfur Falls, all right, more rare lands. Craggett, Marowin, Vault, almost 96% from the Vault. Now you can see, like, most of our commons are going towards dust. Oh, please be a good mythic. All right, another Lyra. Another Lyra is, it's good. It is good. That is one of the mythics we need. Well, crack our vault, claim our wild guards. So we're up to 8 mythics, 13 rares, 31 uncommons. So we get lots of uncommons. And we still have 17 packs to go. Because we had those 3 bonus packs. I don't want to open them as part of the, the money, the $100 purchase. Crack it open. Alright, more rare lands. That's good. Man, are we going to open 90 boosters, precognition field... And not open a Karn, or a Mox Amber, or a Tezzeret. Or not Tezzeret, a uh, Teferi. Rare wild card. I mean, we can trade wild cards for them. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Sweet. And Helm of the Host. That is a super fun card. Probably a bit expensive for standard. Rare wild card. I mean, never complain about wild cards. They are helpful. Sylvan Awakening. Yeah. Come on. Let's get let's get at least one good mythic here. Ariel. Yup. Come on. Uh, more haphazard bombardment. Seven packs to go. Seven to go. Helm of the host. Uh, history of banana. Ugh. That is one of the mythics we want. That is one of our playable mythics, so that is good. That is very good. I'm glad we opened that one. That's one of the, the good mythics from the set. Come on. Rites of Bells and Lock. So we're stopping with three packs left because they were already in our account. Rare wild card. Hinterland Harbor. Are we going to get another vault? All right. New. No. Karns, Temporal Sundering, last pack, last chance for a Karn. Uh, Oath of Teferi. Okay, okay, so we just opened 90 packs, so let's, 
let's uh, go look at our collection. So as far as, first on this screen, so we opened the vault three times, almost exactly three times. We started at 50% progress, we ended at 61% progress, and got three vault openings for our $100. We do have a few gems left over. As far as wild cards, eight mythics, so we can get two play sets of mythics. 16 rares, so a decent amount of rares, 37 uncommons, 26 commons, so lots of commons and uncommons, but uh, let's actually look and see what cards we got. Alright, so <laughs> unfortunately, Magic Arena does not yet have the ability to sort by set, which is going to make it a little hard to break down our open, because we got to look through all the cards, unfortunately. But, if we pick through these, as far as Mythics, in our 90 packs, we got one History of Benalia, two Lyras, so that's three Mythics. We got a Varric, so that's four Mythics. Then we got a Jaya Baller, that's five Mythics. Uh, Joyra, six Mythics. Drag Daragaz, seven Mythics. Two Moldorothus, eight, nine Mythics. So we opened nine Mythics in our 90 packs. And then we also got, of course, the wild cards. So we got less than one of each of the Mythics from the set, basically. There's 15 Mythics in Dominaria. We got nine of them. That's not counting our eight Mythic wild cards, of course. So uh, so that's where we ended up. Unfortunately, as far as our opens, we kind of opened the wrong Mythics. Like, we got all the sweet build your commander deck around mythics but that's not really a format yet on arena hopefully it will be eventually but we didn't get too many standard mythics like we got some i guess fringe build around mythics but we only we got two lyras we got one history of banalia zero mox amber zero karn zero to fairies which is a little disappointing as far as the rares this is going to be even more challenging because there's so many cards um but it seems like on average I think the average is going to be slightly less than two of each rare, but you can see it's not evenly distributed. We have two Shalais, we have four Teshars, one Urza's Ruinous Blast, one Antiquities War, so it's kind of hard to, uh, to break that down. The Uncommons, we have, since we opened uh, two per pack, we should have roughly about two of each uncommon uh, roughly not counting the wild cards which we do have 37 uncommon wild cards so we can get a lot of uncommons of our choosing but still because uh because of the filtering options or lack thereof it's really hard to do this properly and it's gonna be like impossible for commons but i believe like four honor guards four unicorns based on how our our dusting or vault progress was going at the end i assume that if we don't have playsets of all the commons, we probably don't have exactly all, but we're probably pretty close to a full playset of commons, and we have 26 common wild cards uh, left over, which is good. So one last thing, I tried to use all of our cards to throw together a deck, and this is kind of just our wrap-up TLDR. So I tried to throw together the Raf Flash deck that we played on stream a couple of days ago, and basically, the cards that we got from the packs gave us combined with the cards I had already in my collection, basically exactly enough to put together this deck. I think we were one mythic wild card short, and maybe if we actually had Walking Blisters on Arena and the other set of dual lands, maybe like one or two rare wild card short. So roughly, that $100 purchase pretty much got us one pretty mythic heavy rare heavy tier deck for standard give or take so i think that's basically the tldr if you buy the hundred dollar pack for magic arena get those 90 boosters with the 2000 gem purges you should be able to roughly 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 depending on the exact deck that you want probably get about one tier deck if you're willing to spend all of your wild cards and that includes the three vault openings we open the vault three times almost exactly three times so if you're willing to spend all your wild cards and use the cards that you open in the set you should get a give or take based on our experience this isn't mathematical scientific this is our pack opening experience you should get roughly one tier deck out of that so as far as the individual cards the tldr is the mythics don't really matter like you saw with our mythics we opened 90 packs 90 packs of dominaria and our mythics were roughly useless so you're not opening packs in hopes of opening the mythics you want it's just not a good plan so don't buy packs in hopes 
hopes of opening the mythic you want, what you're doing is you're buying packs to get basically a playset of commons, maybe two of every uncommon, roughly, maybe almost two, one and a half of every rare, some will be playsets, some will be none, and then you're getting the wild cards. That's the reason to do it, because even though we opened horribly, like this deck that we're trying to put together, the Raft Flash deck, has a lot of Dominary Mythics, four Lyras, it has four History of Benalias, it has three Teferis, even though we opened really horribly as far as getting the cards from our packs for the deck, the eight Mythic Wild cards we ended up with gave us enough that we could just buy the Mythics that we needed for the deck. So that's why you're doing it, don't plan on opening good cards. So anyway, that's been our opening of 90 boosters, the 20,000 gem pack on Magic Arena. So let me know what you think. What do you think of the economy? How well can you build decks this way? Buying packs? How many packs should you buy? Are there any other strategies to look at? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.